what's up people pranav here back with another video and uh, this time i'm going to talk about a, a topic uh, something that i've heard very often from many people and i'm sure every single person watching this would have heard this to some degree let's get to uh, the actual post and then we'll talk about it why shouldn't you drink water standing up let's see what they say we have always heard our elders saying not to drink water in the standing position we often neglect and gulp in water rapidly but according to ayurveda when you stand and drink water your nerves are in a state of tension see whenever you hear this phrase according to ayurveda you can i guarantee you you can reject everything being said in the video because the theory that ayurveda is based on which is what i assume they're going to explain in the rest of the video or in the in this case this post the theory of ayurveda is based on the five element model it's thousands of years old uh, it's outdated we moved way past that we have far more evidence since back then we know that's completely wrong we know things in the world are not made of earth fire wind water and uh, uh, space so uh, this whenever people try to rationalize anything by saying according to ayurveda just feel free to reject it here they saying ner- nerves are in a state of tension if they mean tension as in physics like a uh, string being in tension your nerves are not what carry force in, in the body those are your muscles and bones your nerves are not pulling on anything so how are they in a state of tension now if they mean by tension if they mean um, you know high bp kind of tension like uh, anxiety uh, mental kind of tension i don't have any idea what they're talking about because everything i know tells me that no drinking water doesn't tense you i would require some elaboration before even considering this but i'm sure everyone watching would uh, be able to smell some bs right here but let's see the rest of the post this creates problems like arthritis and joint damage again no evidence provided whatsoever this could also give severe heart problems even now medical science has to agree to this yeah probably because you are fear mongering saying asserting claims without evidence whatsoever that's why medical science doesn't agree to this medical science only uh, strongly believes something if there is evidence in support of it if if a vast majority of the medical community agree on a certain idea then there is consensus then medical science will agree to something here yeah i'm not surprised medical science doesn't agree please do avoid drinking water in the standing position uh, it might be a few extra minutes but sit down and drink water peacefully this is textbook fear mongering done uh, I- i'm sure all my audience won't fall for something like this but this post has how many likes but the likes show yeah 10000 likes there are so many gullible people following pages like these seeing posts like these ha ah, if only if only rational thinking could reach all of them yep i've got one more post here uh, and it's another sort of science post let's have a look When babies are born, I'm sure you've seen this, they have like a spiral in their hair, sometimes clockwise, sometimes anti-clockwise, sometimes they even have two in different directions. Now this point here is very interesting because you can see in some cultures they Okay, before I go any further, so far everything he says is fine. There's no BS in any of it. We all do have a point in our hair where there's a swirl uh, but yeah let's see what he says put further. a cap on it in another place they'll actually shave all the hair away from that point in another place they'll shave all the hair and only leave that point until they have a long 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 hair or woven together so there's something about why is a seek person being shown Okay. About this area that is sometimes covered with a hat 
and sometimes you take the hat off when you go into a church. What about this? Yeah, so far again, no BS uh, spotted, but let's see the rest. This area is so important. Now this has to do with the fact that we have a north and a south. When we're standing barefoot, there's the BS, there's the BS, but yeah. And we're earthing and grounding, we're connecting to the planet. But from this point here in our head, we're connecting somewhere else. And with certain development, we can actually connect very, very high, very, very far. So remember this point, the spiral, next time you see a baby. Always, when you see videos like these, it's very easy to spot this BS, this kind of BS. Um, it's very weak, you sleep and there's nothing directly actionable and they're mainly only looking for views. This uh, video has some 16,000 likes. So a huge page, I assume, huge pseudoscience page. Yeah, healer. It says healer. That's a red flag term. So human beings are not magnetic. We cannot sense magnetic fields unlike certain other species of birds like pigeons. Human beings don't have magnetic north and south pole. See, he's vaguely just saying north and south pole. He didn't even mention magnet, I assume. But those diagrams showed magnetic field lines. Um, anyway, human beings don't have any of that if you're making claims like these provide evidence he also mentioned something about grounding grounding is another pseudoscience ideas i recommend you watch a video by this channel called vulture watch he's a friend of mine his name is arjun watch a video he has done on grounding that will tell you everything you need to know about it it's a pseudoscience so usually how do i spot pseudoscience and bs Usually, the ideas are very similar. It's something I've heard before. It's something uh, similar to something I've heard before. Here, in this case, grounding is a pseudoscience idea I've heard before. That's why I uh, instantly spot the BS. But even if you've never heard of it, the content of what they're saying, look at whether there's any actual science in it. Look at, you can Google this yourself if it's a topic you're not familiar with it. With uh, you can google it and find out if there's any substance to what's being said in this case there is none you can safely ignore this as pseudoscience see you in the next one